You came! Yes! Welcome back to class. Welcome back to class. Welcome back to class. Don't be a pain in the ass. Sing this song and be vegan from now on. Sing this song and be vegan from now on. Yeah! Woo! Drink soy milk. Today we are looking at this channel and it is called Plant-Based Science London, but look at the title. Did you see that? See what it says? It says, why do we see improvements on the carnivore diet? That doesn't sound too good. So get your papers ready, get your pencils ready. We're going to make check marks when we see something good. We're going to make X's if we see something bad. Let's get right into it and see what the heck these people are talking about. Plants have protein, they really, really do. Being vegan is healthy, you know it's true. Plants have protein, they really, really do. So why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? No more excuses for you. Check the label, check the label, check the label. If it's vegan, it's okay. Check the label, check the label. If it's vegan, the animals will say, hooray. All right, I'm going to go over here and press the button. Boink. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Okay, hold on. I got to go down here on my other. I have two lap. I have a screen here and a screen here. All right, let's go. The carnivore diet has been growing in popularity, particularly being seen as a diet for people with autoimmune conditions. This way of eating gained huge publicity when Jordan Peterson and his daughter Michaela talked about the health improvements she saw on her diet of beef, salt, and water. Oh my God! Do you guys? Now, this is probably. Do you guys know who that is? This is really a shame. These people say that they needed to eat meat and that's what helped them, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, maybe short term, you could see if you eliminate everything and you just try to include one or two things to see what's going on with you when you have an autoimmune disorder. But there are also other people like Dr. Brooke Goldner who state the exact opposite. Anyway, let's see where this is going. Probably the most extreme elimination diet there is. Okay. Because it removes many food sensitivities people may react to. Ew, God, I don't want to see all these dead bodies. Like, this is so disgusting. Like, who even knows what this is? This could be a dead cat. This could be a dog. I mean, maybe this is somebody's guinea pig. You know, people that eat animals, you just can't trust them. It's just disgusting. Now, I, I don't know. Should I give this an X for showing dead animals on my channel? Or is this something that has a better point? I mean, they are called plant-based science. So I'm going to wait and see. You, you guys do your own sheets, though. Eh? You guys can decide. You can put you know, whatever. You, you look at it. We're trying to be as neutral as possible. I'm just trying to keep an open mind here. Because I don't know if this is one of those channels that's actually about veganism or it's just like a trick. Like, there's so many people who lie with thumbnails, you know? I don't know what's going on. Benefits in the short term, there are some huge concerns when it comes to the long term effects of this way of eating. Here's okay, all right, good, check mark, because that is absolutely true. They have all kinds of fad diets, but in the long term, it's not very good. What does it say? Carnivore diet, meat. Oh my god, this, this is, these are sentient beings who didn't want to die. Other animal products, eggs, lard, bone marrow. Imagine eating someone's bone. God, I know I used to chew on chicken bones. I remember when I ate meat. It's so weird when you think about it. It's so messed up. Low lactose dairy, heavy cream, hard cheese, all animal products, all stolen body parts from sentient beings who screamed their heads off watching their friends being murdered before them. You can eat on a carnivore diet. This is a really concerning diet when we have huge- Yes, concerning diet, check mark amounts of data now showing that diets high in red and processed meats. The Lancet. Oh, this is a good, this is a very good source. The Lancet Oncology. Oncology, for those of you who don't know, is a branch of medicine concerned with the prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and study of cancer. What does this say? Carcinogenicity of consumption of red and processed meat. Okay, that's good. Are linked to an increased risk of cancer, and all cause mortality. Check mark. The carnivore diet also eliminates highly nutritious foods like fruits, vegetables, legumes. Yes, mentioning that these foods are highly nutritious. And Check whole grains, mark. All of which contain beneficial vitamins and minerals. 
which may lead to serious deficiencies in many nutrients. Exactly. So, you could have a serious nutrient deficiency if all you eat is meat. I mean, where are you going to get all the other nutrients from? All the vitamins and minerals, so many of them, which are not in these products. Now let's... They're not products anyway. They're body parts. Humans have turned them into products. This was some one. It's not some thing. Okay, from medical doctor, Dr. Brooke Goldner, who specializes... Oh, I just talked about her! Check mark! Yes! ...in autoimmune diseases, as she talks about the carnivore diet. Carnivore diet. So why could some people get benefits from eating nothing but meat? Well, if they were someone who was eating meat and processed foods and dairy, and they switched to eating only meat without the processed foods and dairy, they actually made a net improvement. Now, the problem is we got to extrapolate out now long-term health, you know, things like heart disease, cancer. I, I was invited on Fox News to talk to a keto Check doctor mark. and he's using it for diabetes and weight loss. He was accusing me of not being compassionate to people who need to lose weight because, you know, that's the best way to lose weight. And I said, there's a lot of ways to lose weight while increasing your risk of heart disease and cancer. You could try cigarettes. Doesn't that hurt? That just hurts just to see it. But do you hear what she's saying? I haven't, I haven't actually watched this yet. Well, it sounds like she's saying um, you can, you can smoke cigarettes to lose weight. Is that what she's saying? Let me go back. Letter J moves things backwards. Compassionate to people who need to lose weight because you know that's the best way to lose weight. And I said there's a lot of ways to lose weight while increasing your risk of heart disease and cancer. You could try cigarettes. You know, sometimes something can be good for one thing, even temporarily, but not good overall. I actually just saw someone today. Who, she was told by her doctor to do keto for her diabetes, and her insulin resistance got way worse, and she developed psoriatic arthritis. So now she's seeing me to undo all of that right I think isn't that interesting that these people who are on the keto diet the carnivore diet they're supposed to be on there to help things like arthritis but then it ends up making it worse it's so confusing isn't it but for me it's very easy we don't want to hurt animals that's it bottom line we have no right to hurt them if we don't have to so this is this is interesting let's keep watching I think people can have a temporary improvement because they've reduced some of the other issues. But on the other side, they are driving their inflammatory pathway up through the omega-6 path. Bacon. Bacon is a class one carcinogen in the same category as smoking. How can you eat that? Poor innocent pigs murdered in gas chambers. The same way that they killed the Jewish people who never did anything wrong. The Holocaust never ended for these animals. Never eat bacon. Pathway, and they are completely becoming malnourished. Vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, all that stuff comes from plants. And so Check they are mark. becoming extremely malnourished. So I'll give you an example really quickly. So when they did a study looking at COVID and diets, right? This was done at the beginning of the pandemic. We had no treatments, we had no vaccines. They looked at doctors and nurses on the front line of the pandemic and what they were eating and whether or not they got COVID, which was a really exciting study, right? And what they found is any doctor or nurse who identified as plant-based in some way, they had a 70% lower rate of moderate to severe COVID. 70, 70, 70%, check mark, woohoo! 0%. Then they looked at doctors and nurses that identified as high protein, low carb. They had a 47% increase in moderate to severe COVID. What Whoa. they said at the end of that study was, we think it's nutrients. People who are eating high meat diets, maybe it's just that they're malnourished. What they didn't consider though, was there was a middle group, pescatarians. They don't eat dairy. They eat a lot of plants, but some fish. Pescatarians had around a 50% decrease in COVID compared to regular folks. Better than the average, but 20% worse than plant eaters. So what they didn't consider is it's not just that we're getting more nutrition, but any addition of any animal product directly harms the immune system. You see that? A lot of people think that you need to eat fish, but this just proves it. You don't. Check mark. This is a good presentation. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like this kind of thing? This channel is proving to be kind of interesting. Love animals.
So just adding fish, which some people think is healthy, reduce their protection from COVID. Taking out all the plants and eating a high protein diet, that increased their risk of moderate to severe COVID and death by 50% almost. Woo! Eat plants! Yeah! Vegans don't steal cows and milk. Vegans don't steal chicken eggs. Vegans don't steal honey. Animal secretions are stolen property. They belong to them. So put away your money. Buy tofu instead showed us another way in which your immune system is affected by food. If you want to kill the immune system and weaken the body, high meat diets are the way to go. If you want to be nourished and healthy, you've got to stick with the plants. Chia seeds have omega-3. Come on, sing this song with me. Chia seeds have omega-3. Grind them up and sing it be. As you see them in your pancakes, your oatmeal, and in your daily smoothie. Plants don't feel pain, they don't have a brain, they don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart, you know where to start. Share this song and be vegan from now on. Yes. Thank you so much That's for it? watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I did like the video and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Good job. You have only check marks. Bravo. I'm giving you an A plus for this assignment. Woohoo! Thank you so much to Plant Based Science London. Ta da! Good job. See you guys in the next video. I hope you liked this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, press the like button, plus the, press the subscribe button, and coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Have a look at them. If you like this channel, click on them and be curious. There's over 1,600 videos, and you, by the way, you can also find me on TikTok. If you're not sure how to do that, just when you get there, just go to the hashtag that vegan teacher and you'll find me. See y'all soon. Bye for now. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every 